Hi everyone, it's Goddess Lily and welcome to my channel. Well, I like to show you one of my summer projects. I'm working on my backyard. It's a very small space entitled, that's why the video is entitled <laughs> Small Spaces. So what you see is buckets of dirt. We've been hauling free dirt. I mean, you can just find dirt just about anywhere and everywhere. Um, I just always go to Craigslist to get things that I need for free <laughs> and dirt was one of the things I needed so this one is completely full we have filled it with dirt the free dirt that we gotten and we put a layer of milk on top and this is the waterfall and you'll see this at the um, final version of this video you'll see it on and this one we're still filling with dirt so we did one side at a time so where we have to fill it sort of up to uh, the top line that you see and then we'll put a layer of milk over it so this is what my backyard looks like so this is like the end of part one and so far I will show you what we've done and then tell you what we have coming that you will see in part two and the final. So we're totally done filling in all the dirt. Waterfall and electrical is all done and you'll see you know, how the electrical was done into the ground and the slides at the end. So it's on the timer. Back there is that green that's sticking out. That's the timer. And I have this set from 12 p.m. To, to go off. Come on at 12 p.m. and go off at 12 a.m. So in the morning when I get up, the first thing I do, you know, after I eat breakfast and do my yoga courses, I come out here and I take the top off and get my water hose and fill it with water. This whole thing is filled with water. It actually can go two days or 48 hours, two cycles without me having to fill it up. But I just come out and fill it up every morning. So um, <clears throat> it's all the way done. This is uh, where the electrical is coming out of the ground. It started over there and he went through under the you know, before we filled it in, under the, before they filled it in with cement, and it came out this way. So it's still with some kind of epoxy around it, and um, it's going up into our electrical box. So that's how our electrical is done. I went ahead and I did pop these two plants that I had, and hopefully they won't die. I don't have a green thumb. But this is the end of part one. Part two, We'll be putting up the pergola and we're still waiting for that to come in. It's actually a 10 foot by 12 foot pergola and I want to grow some beautiful vines over it. And then we have a gas fire pit that we ordered that we actually have that was $500. And I'll tell you the prices of everything in the next video, which will be the conclusion and final video. So that gas fire pit we have, but it's so heavy and big. It's like 48 by 48 so we can't put that up until we put the pergola up because actually we're gonna have to move all this to assemble it and they're gonna bolt it into the cement it can't be a permanent structure so that's why it has to be bolted into the cement rather than attached to the house because this is a small space and we have to apply with city regulations okay so um, Check out my channel for part two towards the end of the summer. Thank you for watching.